Thank you for saving my life. The Autodoc module you recovered did the trick. I trust this payment is adequate compensation for your troubles. Now, lest we grow sentimental here, the time for battle will soon be upon us. Legatus Linnaeus draws nigh. When he arrives, my legion will assault Hoover Dam. In the meantime, the profligates have prepared a welcome gift for us. The president of the NCR intends to visit Hoover Dam. I don't have to explain the reasoning behind my commands. I just give them, and you do them. That said, every once in a while I hear something so ignorant I have to respond. This is one of those times. The profligate's morale is in the shitter. They've occupied the Mojave for years, getting picked off one by one. They were told it'd be easy. They keep being told that victory is right around the corner, that Vegas will roll over, become the sixth state of their little union. It's President Kimball who's been telling them that. When he dies, the enormity of his lies will come crashing down, the punchline to a bad joke. That's what I like to hear. One of my frumentaria set up camp near Hoover Dam. His name is Cato Hostilius. Go to him. He'll have further instructions. Some of the slaves have been spreading stories about the burn. It's about time you showed up. I was starting to get lonely out here by myself. So you're the big shot that Kaisar put in charge of this mission. I've heard about you. You've got quite the reputation already. Well, let's get down to business. Once we get started, we're going to be on a tight schedule. Are you ready to do this? Good. Now Kimball is scheduled to give his speech tomorrow. We'll rest here tonight and talk over the plan first thing in the morning. Get some sleep. You've got a big day ahead of you. Rise and shine. You have a big day ahead of you. So, do you have a plan for how you're going to kill Kimball? Prepared already. I like it. There's no need to give me the details. It is probably best that way. Even though you already have a plan, I may have some information that you might find useful. I've been spying in the dam for quite a while now. I've gathered quite a bit of information from various sources. Suggestions, eh? I'd suggest you play to your strengths. There's probably plenty of ways to kill Kimball. Just find one that works best for you. We'll have a few hours before he arrives. You should look around and see if you can find anything that you can use. Just be careful. You don't want to cause a scene before Kimball even shows up. I've been able to get some basic information on the schedule for Kimball's visit, as well as getting some rough security details. The president is scheduled to arrive sometime in the afternoon. It's going to be a short visit to boost morale for the NCR troops. He's going to arrive, give a speech, and then leave. No meet and greet, no questions, just a quick in and out. They're probably afraid something is going to happen. For good reason. I wasn't able to find a final itinerary for his visit, but if you can find one, you can get more details on what's going to happen. Security is going to be tight. Rangers are stationed all around the observation deck where Kimball is going to give his speech. Security is led by a Ranger Grant. He's a pretty rough guy who's seen a lot of combat. It's best if you steer clear of him. The crowd consists of troopers and a few select civilians who were lucky enough to bribe their way in. They shouldn't cause much trouble for you. Finally, there's the additional security that Kimball will be bringing with him. I wasn't able to find out much on that. If I had more time in their computers, I could have accessed the full duty roster and guard deployment. Maybe you'll have better luck. Okay. What would you like to know? 
I have some disguises for us. I've already got mine. A wealthy Brahmin baron who bribed his way into seeing the president. As for you, I have an NCR trooper uniform that I acquired. It'll fool most of the troopers and civilians, but it probably won't fool the rangers. Well, I have a bomb here that can be put on the vertebrate that will detonate at a certain altitude. But it's a little unstable and dangerous. Here you go. Put it to good use. If there's nothing else, then we should get moving. You're the boss. I'll be in the crowd. Do whatever you need to do, then find me before Kimball arrives. Here's your disguise. This'll get you past most of the NCR there, but watch out for the Rangers. Odds are this won't fool them. I'll meet you there. Good luck. Make it quick. We don't have much time. Good timing. Looks like his vertebrate is arriving early. Here it comes now. I hope you're up for this, because we won't get a second chance. Have you seen my helmet? I can't seem to find it. That's too bad. I need it for the ceremony. I need to look my best. And I need my lucky helmet. I'll just have to keep looking. Thanks anyway. I still haven't found my lucky helmet yet. It's always in the last place you look. I wonder why that is. Thanks, mister. You're the greatest. Make it quick. We don't have much time. Good timing. Looks like his vertebrate is arriving early. Here it comes now. I hope you're up for this, 
because we won't get a second chance. Watch out! <laughs> Make it quick. We don't have much time. Good timing. Looks like his bird bird is arriving early. Here it comes now. I hope you're up for this, because we won't get a second chance. Make it quick. We don't have much time. Good timing. Looks like his bird bird is arriving early. Here it comes now. I hope you're up for this, because we won't get a second chance.
We won't go quietly. The Legion can count on that. Make it quick. We don't have much time. Good timing. I hope you're up for this, because we won't get a second chance. Make it quick. We don't have much time. Good timing. Looks like his vertebrate is arriving early. Here it comes now. I hope you're up for this, because we won't get a second chance. And it's because of you that I am able to do so. We enjoy our privileges because you take the greatest of risks and are prepared to make the most noble sacrifices. And it's because of men and women like Private First Class, Jerry Watson, that Nevada and the new California Republic remain free. No one can go upstairs without authorization. Sorry, no can do. Not a chance. Later. 
Born in a tin shack on the outskirts of one pine, Jeremy Watson never had any easy. His father was a caravan guard. No one can go upstairs without authorization. Like many Californians, brave the ruins of the old world. Sorry, no can as a prospector. Okay, just this once. Make it quick, though. I don't want to get in trouble for this. They, they suffer through water, water shortages, raider attacks, attacks, and the Brotherhood brother War. war. Like, like our mighty Sierra Nevadas, they, they endured. endured. But the, the time, time came, came and they could no longer shoulder the burden alone. Twelve, Twelve years, years ago, they called, called out for help, help. and the and Republic heard them. them. Troopers, Troopers rangers, rangers, just, just like, like you, answered answer the clarion call. Men and women step forward to say, I will carry the weight. And at Owens Lake, Lake, we made, made true on our promise, driving out the raider tribes to establish a lasting peace in the eastern Sierra Nevada. We carried the weight, and though we left behind many of our brothers and sisters on that battlefield, it did not break us. Ten years ago, Chief of Police met with representatives of the Desert Rangers, to discuss terms of what would become the Ranger Unification Treaty. The treaty was more than a resolution to welcome the Desert Rangers into the Republic. It was a covenant to protect Southern Nevada against Caesar's Legion and the tyranny of his regime. There are some back home who ask me, but who are we protecting? What is Nevada to us? Sometimes, Sometimes we forget, forget that the light, light of our society, society shines beyond our borders. borders. Sometimes, Sometimes we, we take those privileges for granted that our borders fought so, so hard to achieve. We, we must all... It's about time you showed up. I was starting to get lonely out here by myself. So you're the big shot that Kaisar put in charge of this mission. I've heard about you. You've got quite the reputation already. Well, let's get down to business. Once we get started, we're going to be on a tight schedule. Are you ready to do this? Good. Now Kimball is scheduled to give his speech tomorrow. We'll rest here tonight and talk over the plan first thing in the morning. Get some sleep. You got a big day ahead of you. Rise and shine. You have a big day ahead of you. So, do you have a plan for how you're going to kill Kimball? Prepared already. I like it. There's no need to give me the details. It is probably best that way. 
Even though you already have a plan, I may have some information that you might find useful. I've been spying in the dam for quite a while now. I've gathered quite a bit of information from various sources. Well, I have a bomb here that can be put on the vertebrate that will detonate at a certain altitude. But it's a little unstable and dangerous. Harder than you think. I don't want you blowing us both up, so I'll just hold on to this. If there's nothing else, then we should get moving. You're the boss. I'll be in the crowd. Do whatever you need to do, then find me before Kimball arrives. Here's your disguise. This'll get you past most of the NCR there, but watch out for the Rangers. Odds are this won't fool them. I'll meet you there. Good luck. Make it quick. We don't have much time. Good timing. Looks like his vertebrate is arriving early. Here it comes now. I hope you're up for this, because we won't get a second chance. <laughs> 